Hello, and welcome to Ghana Veg Food Diaries. My name is Selassie. Oftentimes when people talk about vegetables, they talk about clean vegetables, they talk about healthy vegetables, and sometimes people start talking about organic vegetables. What do we really mean by organic vegetables? Today, we actually have experts that are gonna be here telling us all about organic vegetables. So stay tuned, you don't wanna miss this one. Welcome back. For today's show, we're talking organic vegetables. So in the studio with us, we have a very well-experienced organic farmer and a consumer who very much chooses to eat organic. So we have with us Francis from So Green Farms, and we have Ivy Amaku Mensa, who is a consumer of organic vegetables. Thank you for joining us today. So maybe let's start with organic. There's a lot of misconceptions about what is organic. Is it vegetables from my garden at home? Is it everything in Ghana is organic because we don't, have a, we don't use a lot of technology? What is organic? Well, organic is actually quite simple. Okay. You can call a vegetable organic if it's grown without chemical fertilizers, chemical pesticides, or chemical weedicides. Okay. Another important thing is that the seeds that you use to grow these vegetables must not be genetically modified. Yeah, so okay. that is what you need to actually call a vegetable organic. Okay, so then in Ghana, not all the vegetables are organic. Oh, absolutely. Okay. The vast majority of the vegetables you see around are not organic. Okay, okay. And Ivy, you choose as much as possible to eat organic. Why did you decide to, to sort of switch to organic or make that effort? Well, um, with time, I realized that especially if um, they are fresh vegetables, like the leafy ones yeah. uh, I'm going to use for salad, I'm taking right from the market and then into my body. Yeah. And um, we, you're not sure where the water is coming from, okay. and we are not even sure where the, the, the sellers are even bringing their, their vegetables from. So thinking about it, I'm like, no, I, I really didn't feel very comfortable. So when I, hear, when I heard about So Green, I decided to go there to have a look at what they had. Mm -hmm. um, I was very, I, I mean, I liked what they had, you know, had because they had lettuce, they had um, uh, Swiss, Swiss chard. The shed, they, yeah. Yes, they had, they had carrots, they had um, mustard greens. They have a variety of green things. Yeah. And for me, that was interesting because you kind of mix everything up and it gives you a different taste and my family liked it. Okay. So, you know, in terms of things for smoothies and uh, salads, fresh stuff, I go to I go to. So smoothie. is there like a difference in terms of the food that you choose to, like, are there certain vegetables you will only buy organic or you pretty much do everything that you can find organic? It's difficult to get everything organic, okay. to be very honest, yes. Yeah. So, I have decided that if it has to do with salads, okay. I would go to So Green. I mean, yes, sometimes you go there are onions, there are um, lemons. So I pick what I what what, what they have available. Them. Yes, I pick okay. what they have available, and then I use it. And of course, I pick what I you know I can also get from from the market. So I do a blend. Okay. But so strictly with salads and my smoothies, I go organic. So it is a challenge to actually find organic vegetables in Ghana. Yes. Okay. So um, one of the other questions that I would have is. Um, as a consumer, if I'm looking for organic vegetables, how do I know what's organic? Well, are there any signs or things yeah, to yeah, watch there out are, for? Yeah, there are definitely signs. Most people, when you go to the market, you usually find vegetables that are incredibly red. You'll find tomatoes that are huge, okay. very red. You'll find cabbages that are bigger than they really should be. <laughs> and you would find carrots, very, very long ones, yeah. very brightly colored. When you see these things, then you must know that it's most likely being grown with uh, chemical, uh, chemical pesticides or chemical fertilizers. Okay. With the organic, I mean, the input you are putting there is um, usually cow dung or chicken manure or yeah. things like that. So it's very healthy, but it's not going to be as big as the chemical one will look like. Okay. Yeah. So that is some of the things you need to. Uh, so take things note should of. look somehow natural and exactly. realistic. Exactly. It okay. must look absolutely natural. Okay. And then you will know. So, I mean, I'm learning a lot from you guys. I think that in terms of um, what Ghanaians know about um, organic vegetables, I think it'd be interesting to find out what they, they have to say. Yeah. So we went to the streets and asked people would they buy organic vegetables? Take a look and see what they had to say. 
Wet organic uh, vegetables are vegetables that are being produced without using fertilizers. And as we all know, vegetables are very essential to the body and it adds vitamins to us. And um, I would prefer um, going naturally for vegetables that are organic rather than inorganic because um, the inorganic vegetables are being produced very fast in growth. But the nutrients naturally which is being given to God's um, idea, it's not really there. So um, in terms of going for the inorganic, that wouldn't be so healthy for the body. So I prefer for the organic more than the in, uh, organic vegetables. Yeah, I'll buy organic vegetables because it's healthier to eat and then mostly cheaper when you grow it by yourself because you wouldn't have to buy fertilizers or anything and you do it by yourself so it's quite cheaper. Oh yes, I think as of now I take organic vegetables like twice in a week to help me um, minimize my rate of carbohydrate intake. Oh, surely I would love to buy the organic one because you know, it normally it boosts vegetables grown without the without fertilizer, boosts your immune systems. It actually helps your growth and all those things because the fertilizer at the end of the day is going to have a, get an effect on you. But it being the natural way without the fertilizer is going to boost your immune system. So I rather prefer that one. And uh, I think uh, with the organic vegetables, it's very, very good to be used because it has no chemicals and which is very good for the human consumption. Far better than those with chemicals. So yeah, I encourage everybody to go the organic way. Yes, I would buy organic um, vegetables because it's safe to eat and I can actually grow it behind my backyard and it's cheap and it's the best without fertilizer. So. Wow, so uh, seems to be a lot of different feedback. Um, some things that I thought were not exactly what I, I would assume about some of these vegetables. So we heard that it's cheaper, um, that it's, you, know, you can do it very easily in your backyard. So maybe you might want to address some of those responses. Well, I'm actually happy with what we just saw because okay. from what I've seen, it appears most Ghanaians are beginning to develop an interest or acquire knowledge about uh, organic foods, and that's always a good sign. But when you listen to what they're saying, there are a few misconceptions that is here. Yeah. There was this lady who was saying it's cheaper because you don't put anything in the way. Well, that's a big, big misconception. Okay. It's actually quite expensive to grow organic okay. because you need to have a lot of time for your crops. Mm -hmm. You need to be there constantly. For example, you cannot put a chemical pesticide to drive away... Um, grasshoppers that are eating up your kale. So you need to be there constantly driving these things out yourself with your hand. And you need to pay someone to do that. Yeah. You need to construct a net, put it all around. You need to put people there at night to get rid of all the rabbits. <laughs> so these are some of the challenges that you go through. So it, it's, it's actually quite expensive. Yeah. And um, taking care of the soil also, you need to get all kinds of manure to put in there. Yeah. Fertilizer, it's cheaper. You need to get uh, all of these organic, uh, fertilizers, which are a little more expensive. Okay. That is if you are trying to produce on a very large scale. So you've mentioned some of the things that make it um, a little bit more expensive. So when you buy the organic vegetables, they, they are more expensive than maybe the ones that you're seeing that are not specifically organic. Yes, yes. and the sizes are not as big as now what you find in the market in terms of lettuce, because yeah. now the lettuce are quite, quite huge. Yeah. So what are some of the other challenges or um, things that maybe people don't see uh, in terms of organic? Well. With the way organic farming is, the challenges keep coming every year. Yeah. Things every year, things, different challenges keep coming. Yeah. Um, at the moment, at our farm, a big challenge that we're having is with uh, grasshoppers. Yeah, during the dry season, <laughs> it's like their personal favorite is kale. Okay. So they are always attacking the kale. And we have tried all kinds of things to get rid of them. Yeah. We have tried using black soap and pepper and cow urea. And it's like every time, these things keep evolving and they yeah. keep getting used to whatever you're putting there. I've heard about uh, neem and chili and yeah, pepper. Yeah, and, we all, yeah, yeah, neem oil and everything. <laughs> but it's like each time these things are getting more resistant. Okay. So it's, it's a challenge really to keep up with the, with, the, with the pests. Yeah. Okay, to keep up with the pests. Also, to find the right kind of uh, manure for your crops. Yeah. See, there are some manure, like fish feed manure, which is quite strong okay. and stronger. Now, if you not a very good farmer, you will give it to a crop such as like um, cucumbers. Okay. And if you don't measure it properly and you overfeed the bed with it, you're going to ruin your cucumbers. 
So these are some of the challenges that uh, we keep having. And also with the pricing. Most people do not understand when we come and tell them that, oh, this is actually a small carrot, yeah. or this is small cabbage. But it's more expensive than this really big one. <laughs> you see, people yeah. usually yeah. would like to have the bigger one should be more expensive than the small one. Yeah. But that's the problem. So in terms of um, your, your buying of organic vegetables, is there... Um, something that you think that other people need to know to encourage them to purchase organic vegetables? Yes. Um, for me, um, one of, like, one of my, my drivers basically is, you know, making sure that whatever I'm, ever, whatever I'm eating is clean mm. um, from a good source. Um, there are so many illness around you. Sometimes you don't even know where it's coming from. Yeah. So my preference, or no, of course, if others can afford it, I would say they should go for it, yeah. is to um, go for, for organic. But it's not just going for the, going for the vegetable because they are saying it's organic. Um, at at so Green, for instance, you know, I've been there and um, clients have come in and they actually want to go and see the farm. Okay. You know, yeah. yes. So, so you, you, you visit the farm? Yes, I've been there. Yeah. I have. I, have been I think there's there. something about actually going and seeing where your food <laughs> yes, comes from. Yes, yes, yes. And, and I think that that's very important. Okay. That's very important, especially when they're saying it's organic. Yeah. You know, you want to make sure that, yes, it's organic. Because somebody can bring um, any vegetable and say it's organic, but how do you know it's organic? Yeah. How do you yeah. know it's organic? That's, that's very true. There are lots of people who go around saying they're selling organic, but it's really not organic. Okay. So that's, that's something that, as a consumer, you must be very, very careful So you of. need to have you a relationship. You must make sure yeah. you're always at the farm. You're making sure what you're doing is right. Yeah. Because that's the entire family, really. It's just an organic family. So we need to all come together, go around, see how it works. And it's also, also going to, to, to help you, the consumer, make the right choice. So I can see it's very important to have a, a good relationship um, with your, your farmer and yeah. wherever you buy yeah. your vegetables. It's very necessary that you do. Yeah. So for today's recipe, I wanted to go straight to the source and get proper organic vegetables from Francis and his colleagues at So Green Farms. Take a look at the wonderful ingredients that I found there. I finally arrived here at So Green Organic Farm near Eburi in Eastern Region. So as you can see, it's been raining, very foggy, but I'm willing to do anything for good food. Are you? Follow me into the farm and let's see what they have for harvest. Ayuko. Hello, Ayuko. <laughs> How are you? Very, very good. Good. Um, thanks for inviting us to the farm today. Everything looks beautiful and green. It's a, it's, it's a rainy day, but um, hey, it helps the soil. The soil is soft and it makes the weeding much, much easier today. Excellent. I have a couple uh, recipe ideas. I'm hoping to get some coriander, some mint, eggplant, and tomatoes. We are actually at the coriander bed right now. Okay. We have parsley next door. We have some, um, next to the um, cilantro bed, we have um, eggplant that way. Right. And we have some mint behind us. And on the other end of the farm, we have our tomatoes. Excellent. Um, it's rained today, so the plants have been watered, so the plants are very, very um, vibrant and alive. And um, as you know, the whole farm is an organic farm. We don't use any pesticides or herbicides, and we make our own fertilizers. So I'm sure that when you cook your food, you would notice the difference in taste. I'm it sure we will. Fresh. Excellent. Sure, okay. let's go. It's that way. Okay. So we got these. So we've got our coriander, mint, and now we've got our eggplant. Fantastic. Great. So the tomatoes? So, tomatoes. We're right. heading to the tomato side. Excellent. We have gotten to the tomato section of the farm. Yeah. We are trying two types of tomatoes. This is the Potomac, and over on that side is the Cobra F26. This is actually the first time that we're planting tomatoes. Okay. So we are trying out the two varieties to see which one will give us a better yield. They look absolutely beautiful. Great. We um, they're all green because we already have a set of red ones for you. Okay. And they're at the farmhouse. Excellent. So looks like I pretty much have everything I need for the moment. We've got the coriander, mint, we've got eggplant, and then we've got tomatoes. So um, basically, guys, it looks like we've got everything. Let's head back to the studio and see what we make out of this.
So you can see we had a great time at the farm. I picked up some great ingredients. I think we should get started and maybe think about cooking a little bit. Ivy, do you have time to stay and cook with me? Yes. Okay. Francis, thank you so much for your visit today. Had a great time at the farm. Um, before you go, maybe you could tell us where we can find um, So Green organic vegetables. Yeah, um, you can. We have a, a farmers market every Saturday at the W. E. Du Bois Center, okay. close to the American Embassy. Okay. It starts from nine and we end at three. Okay. Every Saturday, you can come there and you'll get your fresh vegetables. Excellent. Thank organic. you. Any last words, Ivy? Yes. Um, having said that. The organic vegetables are, are expensive. I mean, on our own, as individuals, we can also do something in our own backyard. Mm. It could be, depends, if you have a, a big plot around or even a small corner where you can, you, can, you can get some seedlings and then plant and then water on a daily basis. Or you can actually also plant them in flower pots. Okay. So I actually have a few stuff in flower pots just behind, you know, nice. behind my house. Fantastic. And once in a while, I just pick something from there. So individuals can also do the same. Right. Oh, that's very, very great input. So our recipe today is going to be an eggplant stew with Keta School Boys and boiled yams. You don't want to miss it. We're going to take a short break and be right back. My name is Sheila Esibe Yabua, the Deputy Program Leader of Ghana Veg. Ghana Veg is a program funded by the Royal Netherlands Government. And we know that the Netherlands is one of the leading producers and exporters of vegetables worldwide. And this expertise is brought to bear in the Ghana Veg program. The program seeks to develop the commercial vegetable sector here in Ghana by making it strong and robust through the support of strong business-led initiatives. As such, we work with front-runner businesses, empowering them through our stakeholder engagements. We have trade missions, we have business-to-business -business meetings, and also we have a matching grant facility where we support through funds. In addition, we enhance production through a strengthened capacity in agronomy where a pool of agronomists are trained and certified to give hands-on practical and timely uh, advisory services to challenges with production on the field. We would like to partner with you here at Ghana Veg if you're a producer, exporter, aggregator, processor, or you offer services in the vegetable sector, or you supply inputs, machinery, or equipment, you're welcome to join the Ghana Veg family. You can reach us online at www.ghanaveg.org. You can send us an email, info at ghanaveg.org. We are active on Twitter and on Facebook. You can also call the phone number on your screen. We want to encourage you to grow more vegetables, eat more vegetables, and stay healthy. And remember, Ghana Veg, healthy and quality vegetables from Ghana through new ways of doing business. Welcome back. I'm in the kitchen and Ivy is uh, agreed to join us. Uh, we're gonna be making an eggplant stew with boiled yams and we're gonna have a little bit of uh, Keta School Boys to add a little bit more nutrition to the, the meal. Um, I've started already with some eggplant. I've cut them up. Uh, last ones are here. Let that sit for a couple of minutes with salt. Um, I would love your help if you could help me start the stew. Um, we're just gonna turn this stove on. And there we go. I'm gonna give you a little bit of oil. Great. That's for you. Thank you. And just heat up a little bit of oil and then we'll start with the onions and the garlic. <laughs> While we're waiting for that to get warm, I'm just gonna go through the ingredients for everyone. Um, we have garlic, we have onions, we have tomatoes, tomato paste, chili, as much as you want, uh, fresh mint, Eggplant, of course. We've got leaves from uh, the Sobolo plant. Some people call it Suri. We've got Katasco, Keta School Boys. You know Zobolo, the Bisap? Yes. Yes, so those are the leaves. Okay. Um, I just became introduced to them. You can just taste it. It has a bit of like a lemony flavor to it. Almost like you're putting lemon in something, no? Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a little mm -hmm. sharp. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like it. Um, nice. Thank you. Oh, my fingers are pink already. <laughs> <laughs> we also have um, a little bit of um, these are lentils that we've already cooked. So that looks ready. You can go ahead and maybe we'll lower it down a little bit. Start with that. That's our garlic. Let me help you with that. Thank you. Onions. I'm just going to cut up the mint while we're letting those get some color. Do you have any favorite recipes? 
So, um, for recipes, I'll just go into the internet and see what's available, what's attractive, what's mm -hmm. interesting, then I just do it for my family. Okay. Do you, any family favorites? My family likes to try everything. Wow, so anything wonderful. you give them, you're very yeah, lucky very actually. Good. No finicky eaters. No, 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 not at all. Okay. Yeah. Just wait another minute or two. Let that get some color. Mm -hmm. Smells good. Uh, next, we'll do the tomato paste. Fresh okay. tomatoes. Mm -hmm. All of it. You can go ahead. Okay. okay. Fresh tomatoes. Chili fan or not too much chili? Not too much. No? Yeah. That's fine. Yeah, it's okay. Let's add a little more. A little more? Okay. Great. That's fine. Did you always like vegetables, even as a child? Yes, well, my mom hasn't said that I didn't like vegetables, but I think I would like to believe I do. Even <laughs> now, I like it. Okay. So we'll just give those another couple of minutes. Mm, the mint, I can smell it coming up. Now we have our eggplant. I sprinkle them. Some people call them aubergine. Yes. Uh, if you have garden eggs, go ahead with the garden eggs, whatever you have in the house. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go ahead and add those in a minute. And then we have lentils that we've cooked up. Okay. Which we're also gonna add. Yes. So let's go ahead. We may need a little bit more oil, I think. Yeah, let's not add a bit more. Okay. That should do. Okay. Salt and pepper. Salt. And then the Eggplant will actually give off their own water, so that's gonna mm -hmm. really help to yeah. keep the dish very moist. We're gonna go ahead and close that. That needs to cook for maybe about yeah, half an hour. Awesome. Absolutely. It needs to cook for about half an hour. Um, about low heat, right? Low heat, yeah, medium okay. to low heat. And in the meantime, we'll prepare some yam. Luckily, I've sort of started it already. Okay. The yam is here, um, so it's almost ready. We'll drain that, and since I knew you were coming and I couldn't let you leave hungry, <laughs> I started this a little bit ahead of time, so I okay. have one that's ready, right. so we don't have to wait too long. Okay. So if you just give me a moment, I'm just gonna go ahead and um, drain. Drain this. Yes. Let me just check how long that is. Okay. Do you need some help with that, or you No, I'm fine, I'm good. Great. So you've been to the farm, the um, So Green Farm. Where is it located? It's Nayim on the road to um, Ashes University. Okay. Okay, so we've got our yams ready. And this is the one that I made earlier for us. Okay. Let me get that over here. So you'll see what that looks like when it's finished. Um, I'm going to add the last final touch. Yes, put it right back on the fire. Um, so this is basically what we started with. So we've got the eggplant, we've got the lentils, mm -hmm. the tomato as well. So yeah. that's going to heat up. The last finishing touches are the sobolo leaves. And if you could help me with the Katasco boys. Just like that. So with these, I just kind of, um, I like to cut them a little bit thin. As you tasted it, it's kind of got a bit of a kick to it. Mm -hmm. uh, so you don't want to get a big mouthful. <laughs> so I'm just going to take these, roll them up, and then I'm going to slice them thinly before we add. So you can just okay. give that a stir while we're finishing this. You want yeah. to raise it up a little bit? Um, let's just make sure it doesn't burn. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to get a plate and get ready, but just give that another stir. Okay. 
Do you like yam? Yes, I do. I think you can pretty much eat it with anything you want. So if someone doesn't like yam, you can yam use rice. rice. You can use exactly. uh, plantain. Exactly. Cool. Show sure. tastes very nice with boiled plantain, ripe plantain. Yes. So those are ready to go. Mm -hmm. mm. All right, so I'm going to turn this off. Okay. Get a little bit closer. Mm There you have it. We've got our eggplant lentil uh, catesco uh, stew with boiled yam. Mm -hmm. I would love for you to give it a try and see what you think. Okay. Okay. No pressure. <laughs> okay, so I'll go with this first. Okay. Mm. So you've got Very a little nice. bit of the saltiness from the fish mm -hmm. and you get something a little bit um, yeah. Acidic from the leaves, from yeah. the sobolo. Yeah. Let me just see if I can get in there myself. Mm -hmm. And I like the fact that we're putting the sobolo leaves mm -hmm. because then it's not, it's not cooked, it's fresh, so you have mm -hmm. all the uh, nutrients and uh, vice, you know. Yeah. Nutrients in coming yep. to your body. Thank you very much for joining us. You're welcome. I hope you enjoyed uh, the experience of cooking a little yes. bit with me. It wasn't yes. too, too bad. Uh, thank you for sharing your knowledge about organic vegetables and, and your family and how you guys eat at home. Everyone at home, please go ahead and check the website or the Facebook page for Ghana Veg. The recipes will be there and also tips about healthy eating. So stay tuned for next week, more recipes and more information about vegetables. Bye-bye. <laughs>